Hey guys, just a, doing a quick video on the uh, the new Variac I've recently acquired. It's a uh, Berco Regavolt 715 LAB, 15 amp, 240 in, 285 out as far as I'm getting on my meters here. Currently got it hooked up to a 800 watt incandescent lamp, as you can see. Big industrial one and an E40 base. Uh, I've got a voltmeter measuring the output voltage here. And I've got a another voltmeter measuring the input voltage here. So that's it hooked up there. Nice toggle switch, little power light. Power it on and show you guys. Okay, let's set to around so you can see that in a bit. So we got 250 volts in. Zero volts out at the moment. I'll switch on the toggle switch. There's a little neon inside there, flickering away, as they do. So try and get the uh, the voltmeters in sh in the shot as I crank it up. Hundred volts. This is about half brightness. Two hundred thirty volts, or two fifty in this case. That's full brightness on the uh, the lamp here. It's not really doing it much justice how bright that really is on the camera because that is I'm having to cover my eyes to see that. That's incredibly bright, eight hundred watts. Currently drawing three point four amps on the supply there. So let's let's take it up to one hundred and. 85 volts, that's full brightness now, that should be drawing quite a lot of power, 4.15 amps, about a kilowatt of power, that's actually drawing, so I won't leave that on for too long, I'll round that back down to 250, nominal, very acts humming very healthily, sounds good, nothing, nothing over the top. As you can see, we get 250 volts here. Normally, it's quite standard for it out in the country where this is. So, things run pretty nicely. It's fairly bright, as you can see. Like That dominates the whole back end of the workshop here, as you can see. Extremely bright. I'll crank that up to full brightness for you guys. Extremely bright. Cast loads of shadows since it's so low down on the bench. <laughs> but yeah, really, really nice. Really nice variac. Really happy with this. Real smooth action. You can actually do it around with one finger. One thing I would note, if I just power it off a second. Unplug. Safety first. And the voltmeter. Right. Very, very smooth action on the top there but one thing to note is that it is uh, the top knob is slightly loose as you can see it goes a little bit further than it should do and when I run it back it stops there and it just to zero so it seems to be sliding on the shaft inside but I think a little bit of work I've already tried tightening it up to fix the problem but it's still sliding so it's probably got some sort of grease in there or something that shouldn't be so it's probably just a matter of degreasing that to get it to um stop it from doing that if not i'll have to possibly find a way of putting a grub screw in there or something along those lines but all in all it's a really really nice me uh very act that sorry I've got these nice new analog meters as well so you guys can see what voltages i'm using nice and easily on youtube nice and clear to see a lot easier visually to see than a, uh, a digital meter so yeah lovely I'll show you the back plate and see if I can get a, a shot in of that. I'm not sure if it'll focus. Just about to see the uh, the markings there, guys. Probably a little bit blurry, but 15 amps, 0 to 275 volts. There you go, it's focused in now. 47 to 65 hertz. Regavolt. 
715 LAB. Very, very nice. Very good condition. I've uh, checked out the insides of it. Everything seems to be in order. The um, There's not too much um, actual dirt in it. It's very, very clean inside. I've uploaded a few pictures onto um, Google+. Plus. If you have me on there, it's uh, Steve Lane. If you just search for that on there. I'm usually with um, high voltage projects and high wind voltage wind rules also. So you can probably find me through them. I'm usually on there chatting away to those guys anyway. <laughs> but yeah, really, really happy with this. I'll probably give it a little clean up. As you can see, it's got a little bit of dirt, bit of dust on it. But otherwise, really happy. Nice little there. Uh, just a little bench top. Very accurate, really. It's a very, very small compared to my other ones I've got there. As you can see, the 1225 down there. I've got my other one, a little 8 amp Berko. Very accurate there. That's just a. Oh, sorry, not an 8 amp. It's a 6 amp. Let's see if that'll focus in for you guys. Come on. You can go that very similar phone to you. And. <laughs> but yeah, it says 6 amp. See, I found this one. Ages and ages ago, in an old industrial building, it is about to be demolished, so I saved it out of there. It was originally in a wooden box, but the, the box had since deteriorated, so I just took out the best bits and threw the box. And then there's another little okay, one amp variac there, as you can see. Tiny little one amp, and that actually came out of a, uh, a manipulator drive. It had a load of them, um, like a uh, Came out of a drive which had a, um, a load of the diodes in there for a bridge rectifier onto a DC motor for controlling the speed of the manipulator for doing a pipe weld. So that's for to rotate the pipe as it's being welded very, very slowly. Rotates it round. But yeah, really happy with the uh, the new one anyway, the little one. Got the little, the little baby. Well, really, the one out's the little baby. But this is the uh, just the, the medium power one, just for having up on top of the, the desk for whatever, just for small projects like this. So yeah, really nice. After that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and catch you again later.